So today I'll be reviewing the Simple Change Getter 1 version 2.0. This is from a company called Studio Half Eye. Um, it's a small Japanese uh, toy company that's in Japan that manufactures, distributes, and assembles all their toys in Japan. And uh, they only have around four or five people that work there. Um, it's amazing that um, they still existed. So here's the box, the front of the box. Um, it's a very high quality uh, box art. And here's the side, another side. So when you open this box up, um, these are very nice protective foam to protect all the important pieces. For the instruction sheet, it's a very uh, colorful, high detailed uh, instruction on how to transform the getter from its three space modes or vehicle modes into the getter. It's very detailed and shows exactly steps on how to do it. So I was very surprised to um, get this extra special item um, when I opened the box. Uh, I did not show that item in the box art so I'm thinking that this is just a, um, a lucky item for me to get and um, it doesn't come with all the getter um, version 2.0s so it's just like kind of like a little lottery uh, some of them have them some of them don't so I'm pretty happy with that. The material that Studio Half I've used for their model kits or their um, completed toys or is resin and that's a material that's uh, quite a high quality material it's a very expensive material and um, for Studio Half Eye, they use a special kind of dye for the resin pieces. So some of the resin pieces are white. Um, it's a uh, white resin, but for the red pieces, um, they use a little, kind of like a food coloring for the resin that makes it look like red. So for the proportions of um, the ships, so this is the front torso of the ship. It's pretty good proportions. Um, there's a gimmick on this. Um, you can open up. You see the cockpit right there and the boosters on the back and here's the bottom of the the first ship the details are pretty uh, pretty well done um, there's no paint rubbing or anything like that um, power lines are very thin it's pretty good so the second ship um, same thing um, kinda like a uh, flat color there's the cockpit, that's the gimmick. And here's the boosters for the back. Proportions on the, the ships are pretty well done. And here's the dirt ship. Negative thing about the dirt ship is that uh, it's pretty loose. And that's supposed to be the cockpit. You have to close it back up. And uh, here's the boosters in the back and some engine detail right here I love the the color of the yellow it's very um, very bright and very smooth also comes with uh, two axes and here's a special item a tore up dinosaur head that is unpainted just a metallic silver color here is a uh, size comparison of a bottle of water. The, this item is a, a very small item and it's about four inches combined together to form to together. transform the first ship. You want to lift this up. There's the getter head. Lift his V fin up. Put his thrusters back. And what you want to do is you want to lift it back up here and push it to the back. After you push it to the back, you need to push this to the forward. Then you want to spin it 360.
there after you spin a 360 you want to bend this to the back because this is the back you want to spin the head to the front you're going to need to push back up a little bit for the head to be connected to the torso because this is the front and you push this to, to the back um, you also need to lift this a little bit kind of like a 45 degree angle also need to lift the thrusters around half an inch and there you go the second ship it's much easier the right the left arm and the right arm the nose cone of the ship and the bottom and there you go this is where the angle of the arm you want to bend that a little bit same thing for this one you just pop his hand in this little tiny peg right here snaps right in for the legs you want to push the thigh you want to bend this and this will the thrusters will go right into the leg same thing for the other part and the uh, thruster compartments can be hidden you spin this apart you spin this part up spin this part up too for the back you bend this to the back and you flip it like this this is the front part so You turn it. For a left leg. So let's combine the first ship with the second ship. From the size you can see that uh, the reason why I left this open because there's a little gap right here just pegs in like that push it down look in the back there's two marks right here you just push that down so let's combine the the bottom half the last ship with the other first ships For the cape, you bend this up, snaps in right there, push this back down, and there you go. For articulation, um, arms can rotate 360, it has an elbow joint where you could bend. It's probably about it, not even 90 degrees. The hands can rotate 360. The legs can rotate 360, right here and like that. The legs can go only probably about that much, not even 45 degrees. Uh, the legs can bend over like this. So you have a little pose like that. Comparison with a crystal geyser bottle. Barely, you see that it's, it's probably about four inches tall, around 10 centimeters. It's a very small figure.
and for this level engineering that's uh, a very unique item I don't really mind the size I'm, I'm into uh, high quality and the details like um, those you know those Japanese small trees you know a lot of effort for something so small but good things come in small quantities you know sometimes so let's talk about the details um, for the arms it has a kind of like a um, saw on his arm so it's pretty pretty good scope on that I kind of like that panel lines are really finely done um, they're very thin and a light black on there for the, um, the axe um, you see those little tiny metals right here looks like a metallic kind of paint very good details looks like an axe you know so let's look at the head has a um, very fine done paint application um, no spear smears or anything like that um, some silver right here yellow and green for the torso um, green and red white black and yellow for the legs um, the details are pretty well done too very proportionate has a very good uh, look and feel to it um, feels like it's sculpted and the, the size and the sheer the smallness of this item it just I just love that and um, doesn't come with a lot of accessories that's a negative thing about it it's just two axes and this thing if you get so another negative aspect about this um, is the work involved in in making the joints a little tighter uh, sometimes they come loose and they're all used by um, screws uh, the design of this figure is all by friction and um, tightness so this screw right here can be some sort loose and what you do is um, use a uh, screwdriver and you tighten up this screw it becomes much tighter uh, what a lot of people do is they tighten the screw and pose it after it's tight that's not the right way to do it you're supposed to pose it first then tighten up the screw then you pose wherever you want and this that's the right way to do it. I mean who I mean I don't know how he prices these items a good, another positive thing is um, the box the box art and how everything is done executed is pretty pretty nicely the colors are really great I mean if you see this box you probably you probably will buy this figure but once you open it up and see the sheer smallness of this item uh, depends on you you know you might just walk away because because of the price tag um, if you find this item and if you decide to buy it I'm not sure if you like the size a lot of people just that's probably the negative thing it's the size it's just it's just too small for the for the amount of money that you go and pay for it um, for the engineering the proportion wise I mean it looks pretty menacing I mean it doesn't look like it's a little little you know puppy it looks pretty badass so I kinda like that because of the cape it really does show like a like a superman feel like a heroic feel to it and it's pretty well well balanced out figure I mean you have three transformations to combine to one and the sheer smallness of this item can be really you know positive but uh, I'm not sure about the American market you know Sometimes we just, Americans like stuff that is bigger, not tiny.